What is the significance of death? We must answer that question, not avoid it. We must look at it very closely, whether that death Death occurs with old age, disease, body, the organism being used in the wrong way, and so on. What is the meaning of death? It's very important to ask this question. Because this part of our life is not something at the end of life. Obviously, the organism comes to an end to disease, old age, and so on. Excellent. And we, living as we are, in conflict and misery, confusion, uncertainty, having faith in some fantastic projection of thought, cannot face that fact, what is death, what is the meaning, what is the Beauty, what is the significance of it? As we pointed out earlier in these talks, our consciousness is made up of its content. The content is our life. The beliefs, the dogmas, the rituals, the fears, the sorrows, the anxieties, the wounds, the division of nationalities, the Christian, the Buddhist, and the Hindu, and the Islamic world, our consciousness actually is the consciousness of all mankind. So you are, your consciousness is the consciousness of all human beings. You are the entire world. The world is you. You may have different skin, you may belong to different religions, Call yourself by a national, nationalistic name, but actually, psychologically, we are talking about you are like the rest of mankind, driven, uncertain, tremendously anxious, imitating, conforming, and so on, and so on. So. When there is death, the organism dies, and that consciousness of mankind goes on. It is only those who free themselves from that, from those contents of consciousness, they liberate themselves from that, they liberate themselves from the significance of death. So we must go and inquire very closely what is the meaning of death. Have you ever ended anything without explanation, without resistance, 
without seeking a reward or punishment, end something. Have you? Have you ever ended completely attachment? That's what it means to die. To end. You can't, when death comes, all that is cut off your attachment to a person. So, the significance of death in its most profound sense of sense is the ending. So a wise man doesn't wait for death to end, but ends, brings to an end fear, sorrow, attachment, loneliness, sorrow. And when there is an ending, so completely, there is totally a different dimension. That is only part of the significance of, life, of death. Death has an extraordinary sense of beauty. You will be surprised to hear it. Because with death, the ending of something also is the beginning of something else, which is love. Yes, I'll show it to you. It's good to be sceptical. It's good to doubt. It's good not to accept anything anybody says, including the speaker, especially the speaker. Doubt your gurus and they will disappear. Don't clap, sir. Doubt your own beliefs, your own longings, your own desires, your own ambitions, your own sectarian spirit. And also you should doubt, question, be sceptical. So that you find for yourself what is truth. Not depend on anybody, the priests, the rituals, the authority, especially in the world of the spirit, in the world of so called spirituality. One must be a light to oneself. And you cannot be a light to yourself if you are always depending on somebody else. And this dependence to end it, not in some years, but now, which is ending, is death. And when you end something, in that ending there is great beauty. Not in that which is continuous, so the whole idea of personal immortality becomes nonsensical when we realise that our consciousness is the consciousness of the rest of mankind. 